Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rogers Kakasungura YouTube channel. It is a beautiful Sunday, Sunday that is ending. And I want to believe wherever you are, your day was splendid. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video, kindly take your one or two seconds, click that subscribe button, and remember to turn on your notification bell. Today, I want to take people back to the Kenyan history so that we are able to understand and know that some things happening in politics could be lessons from what happened so many years ago that even some Kenyans cannot remember. You know, for you to be a successful politician, you must have a teacher or a person you are copying notes from. If I want to be a politician in Kenya, I might copy notes from history on what President Kenyatta did, President Moi did, President uh, Kibaki did, and what maybe President Uru Kenyatta did, and maybe in future, what President William Ruto will do. This will help you manage and understand the political atmosphere in the particular country you are leading. So, what am I saying, Kakasungura? There are so many things that are happening in the current government that the people who were born in 1990s think it's something that has never happened in this country. But Kaka Sungura, my work on this platform is to read history and remind you that when you see this happening, it happened in this year. When you see these changes, these changes are not new. They happened this year. Why are they happening? They are happening to achieve A, B, C, D. Now, there is something that is hitting headlines since William Ruto took over power. Kenyans have heard of this. And people do not understand history are scared on what is happening. But history repeats itself. You've heard of uh, a special police unit, a squad that has been painted by the Kenya Kwanzaa government as a killer squad. A code, you know, these are not my own words. You've heard this from the Kenya Kwanzaa politicians that the Isaac, even Silvana Sosoro spoke this um, when he was attending a Thanksgiving service in Kisi. When I was listening to his speech, Osoro said that there is a special police unit that has been responsible for so many years, that has been responsible for the abducting and the killing of innocent people. That's what they said. But then, how was this special unit formed and what was it all about? For those people who read history, can attest that the disbanded squad that you've had some officers of that DCI squad have been questioned and others are right. I saw a headline on the Daily Nation that they are victimized because they have refused to fix their bosses. That's a story that was done. It's not my own words, Kakasungura. Now, you've heard they are being questioned so that they can reveal on how they have been abducting people. You heard there were some Indians and a Kenyan driver who disappeared. According to information available in media, it says the Indians were coming to help William Ruto run his campaigns. But they disappeared. They were abducted. And according to the emerging information is, 
they, the, the clothes, the watch they were wearing, they were found in Abadeas. And the family of the deceased have confirmed that indeed those clothes and the watch indeed belongs to those Indians and that one Kenyan driver. And then their bones have been taken for DNA test. But then let's say, what is exactly happening? That is the question I will be answering. Kenyans do not understand what is happening. But today, I want to respond to your questions. And then I will post a question before I answer. Kenyans have heard of a disbanded terror squad. And then the question is, what is really happening? Now, for those people reading history, Shortly after Daniel Toroitich Arap Moy was sworn in as the president in October 1978, when he took over from Jomo Kenyatta, you know, President Moy, you remember, he was a deputy president, and the constitution of Kenya was saying, even up to now it's saying, in case the president dies or is incapacitated then the the deputy president takes over the office so Jomo Kenyatta died as the president then Moi was by then the the the, 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 the vice president the, you know the vice president was then named the deputy president after the 2010 constitution now Moi took over power and when he took over power shortly after was 1978 then there was an attorney general by then, the late Charles Njonjo. Now, Njonjo faced parliament. And when he faced parliament, he made some allegations that have been never heard in Kenya. And he shocked the members of parliament and the whole parliament and told them, you know, guys, <laughs> You don't know. Today I want to tell you what is happening. Do you know there is a killer squad in this country? Do you know, you know it was a shock to members of the assembly. You know, by then those years, 1970 something until 20 uh, until 2013. We never had counties, we had regional governments. Nyanza region, coast region, and yeah, we had regional commissioners. Those were the most powerful regional uh, uh, um, state officers. Now, Justin John told Parliament that you know, there is a killer squad that is called anti stock theft unit. Hmm? Every member of Parliament was like, what? Yeah, and John told them, yes. Guys, there is a squad. You know, nobody has ever heard of this squad. You know, kill him to Alipato was up and Hey, hiya. Then Charles Jonjo went on and said, You know, <clears throat> and this killer squad had been mandated to assassinate some politicians. You know, Kenyatta died accidentally. Yani, Nile Alikufa too, Alikua Melala, and just died. Nobody. Nobody was prepared for his death. So if we died, then there were some plans. But then you know what? Moi wants to achieve something out of all this story. Now, John is telling members of parliament that you know what? This killer squad had planned to assassinate some politicians. And, okay, who are these? And you know, this squad was called the Ngoroko. <laughs> that was, it was known that, okay, nobody knew it, but the name of that squad was, the, okay, the official police name was the Antistock Theft Unit, ACTU. But, kulikuwa na jina ya kimajazi, the Ngoroko. So, Jojo told them, guys, do you know, there is a Ngoroko. And this Ngoroko is a killer squad. And this squad 
had planned to assassinate some politicians. And then members of parliament were like, okay. Huh? Now, Charles Njondo did not mention the names of the members of the Ngoroko. He didn't mention. The members of parliament were like, okay. And then who could this be? But you know, there was one person who was called James Mungai. Then James Mungai, everybody now started suspecting, okay, Allah, yeah, Charles Mungai. Why could people suspect Charles Mungai? Because it was on record, on Gazette notices and on media, that James Mungai had been mandated by the police commissioner by then. It was called... Um, Bernard Hinga. He mandated James Mungai to form that squad. Okay. You know, they are suspecting. Now, you know what? This killer squad was based in Akuru. And what was really Moy trying to do? By bringing this information to the public, what was Moy trying to do? Moi, <laughs> what generally Moi wanted is accuse the squad, paint it as malicious, paint the squad as the people have been responsible in the killing of innocent citizens, including politicians. Now, what did Moi want from this story? Moi wanted to shock the public. And the members of parliament. And you know, <laughs> there is a killer squad that will kill you one day. Then what can we do? We must disband this squad. Okay. Then what Moi did? Moi disbanded that squad. Kaito. He disbanded it. Then now, <laughs> he formed his own squad. Though he didn't announce, he formed his own squad. Now this squad Moi formed was his loyalties only. In short, what the present Moy was doing out of all this story is to suspend, fire, and retire some members of this court who were loyal to President Jomo Kenyatta by painting them as a killer, a dangerous, a terror squad that was used to eliminate innocent citizens. Then after he has disbanded it, fired those he could fire, suspending those he could fire, uh, those he could, then retiring those who could retire. Then after doing that, Moi sat down and made and photocopied the same squad with only his loyalties. You remember, during the Kanu era, then this squad, now the new squad, who are loyal to the president, you know, wale washa tolewa, wame brandiwa ni wezi, wame brandiwa ni wawaji, wame brandiwa their killers, wame brandiwa their terror group, wame, yani, they were called all sorts of names. Then, Moi is now forming his own squad, secretly. Now, this squad was mandated to abduct and question anyone who seemed to be against the Moi government. This included uh, university students, it included scholars, it included politicians, anyone who could be rumored to have been speaking against Moi. The squad was mandated to find this person abduct him take him to uh, uh, take him to an underground room question him if they find this guy is not dangerous anaambiwa we unatoka hapa na uziwai rudia hiyo maneno even journalists they were abducted and questioned ladies and gentlemen the squad has been in ex existent it has been there for the past 70 years. 
until now it has been disbanded now let me tell you what is happening in Kenya from the story I've given you then whatever that is happening in this dispensation is a replica of what happened now your guess is as good as mine from there don't expect me to give you further answers <laughs> you already have the answer from the story god bless you asanteni sana mungu akubariki na wapenda nyote